Hey folks, uh, I just got a new acoustic guitar. Exciting for me, useful for you, hopefully. Uh, it's the Yamaha F335. Um, I'm doing some acoustic guitars for an album that I'm working on, and uh, I wasn't happy with the sound that I was getting from my guitar, uh, which is an Ovation Celebrity that I've had uh, since I started playing guitar, um, you know, a number of years ago. And it's a great guitar, just not the sound I was looking for. Uh, I needed something with a little more stringy kind of high end and more resonant low end than I get out of the fiberglass body of the Ovation. Uh, so I thought I would just go and uh, see what the gu local guitar store had for cheap and play them all and see if anything impressed me. And uh, this one really did. Um, you know, it, it seems to hold up pretty well next to more expensive guitars that I tried, and uh, I just bought it. Um, so I thought, uh, instead of telling you all these details about what kind of wood it's made of and everything, which you can just look up on your own, uh, I'll just play a little bit so you can hear what it sounds in different contexts, uh, a little softer, harder, and kind of a middle ground. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to play a little bit from the album I'm working on, uh, so if you're interested in that, you can uh, get a little bit of an idea of what's going to be on it. So here's a kind of not too hard, not too soft kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to play something now that's a little more uh, strummy and stringy sounding. Uh, you may have heard this song from one of my other videos. It's called Down River. Uh, it's not an acoustic song on the album, but here it is, acoustic anyway. <laughs> So one thing that I think is really great about this guitar is it has a kind of buzzy quality when you play it harder, which a lot of people might really hate, uh, but I think it almost adds kind of like an overdrive sound to the acoustic guitar, which can be a really interesting effect. So uh, here's something a little harder. This isn't on the album, just something I've been playing lately. <laughs> So yeah, it has kind of a buzziness that I think is really uh, interesting for harder stuff. Um, one last thing that I'll play um, is uh, a little bit of finger picking. The guitar sounds really nice. Uh, I'm not so great at finger picking, so bear with me. Uh, but here's a little bit of uh, Blackbird by the Beatles. Yeah, so hopefully you can get some usable opinion out of that. Uh, but yeah, it's a great guitar, uh, cheap, and uh, well well made, uh, doesn't feel cheap. So uh, hopefully that'll help if you're looking for a new acoustic guitar. All right, uh, I thought I would just play one more song for you. 
Um, this is uh, a song called Illinois that's going to be on the album that I'm working on now, uh, which will be out in a few months, uh, or hopefully sooner than a few months from now. Um, but uh, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys an example of uh, singing with guitar, um, since a lot of singer-songwriters do that. Um, so yeah, I have the same mics, uh, just instead of the uh, XY pair like I had, uh, it's kind of an XY pair but rotated vertically and not uh, panned left and right, uh, so the Octava is picking up more vocals and the uh, Audio-Technica more guitar. Uh, so this is Illinois. I want to drive to Illinois Cause that name's been following me A License plates and band names I'm being called, I'm being Drive the back roads. I want to drive long and straight. And I want to see the horizon wherever. Since plates and band names, I'm being called, I'm being called, and I want to drive the back roads, and I want to drive long. Cause that name's been following me Alright, thanks.